So I have recently remapped my car, so I deleted the EGR valves. So what I'm going to do is try and get the EGR valve now uh, <coughs> blanked uh, at the base where the EGR valve is. So I'll take the cover off and show you afterwards. Um, I've got the two sliding type uh, blank plates. So these types of plates are easier to install as you don't have to get the whole um, <coughs> pipe off. Um, so you can just loosen the bolts and then just um, slide in the plates. After that, I will also be will also be removing the air intake, which is I'll remove I'll remove this uh, intake hose. Uh, might as well take the f the, f uh, the fan cover um, and get this air intake body out and get those four bolts off here to get the butterfly valve off. So I'll be getting blanking those easier points and getting the butterfly valve off. So I had to get to remove the the left side of the or the right side of this the secondary battery compartment to get access on the left hand side or the right hand side uh, is your valve um, so it's, it's as simple as loosening the bolt so you have a gap of maybe two or three mil and then just being very very careful you don't drop the plate and then just sliding the plate from this side because from this side it is a, there's a there's this valve bending there so you have to do it from the other side which is that side, slide it in and then you tighten the bolt to 10 nm. I didn't really have to take these bits off uh, for the other one. It's got more access than the uh, than the right hand side. You might want to take this cover off and slide a, a blanket kit on both sides. Yep, so I've taken the Y piece out. So you got to get, the, um, there's a bolt here you got to get out and Gotta wiggle it a little bit. I think it's good, easy to push it on the right first because the this end is relatively short bit and this end, this Y piece is a bit longer. You pluck this one out and then try and push it, wiggle up and down between these two um, easier valve piece. So now I'm gonna open. I take these four bolts out, take this motor out, and then remove the. Somehow I need to pull the pin out holding that butterfly valve. So I took these uh, this motor out, um, and it has this little it has it has this little knob like a ball joint type stuck to this end. So you just, you just literally pull it out from this side. And it just comes off. Now I need to slowly try and pull this using the flat head as a lever to pull this out and get the butterfly valve um, uh, uh, that little flap out of it out of the uh, out of this um, white white piece so I just pulled it out so when you pull this pin out the valve obviously gets separate it's stuck inside so I pull it out chuck it to the side now I will just push it in just the the lid and put it all back together and um, install it all back in 